a loop and when i say loop what is this loop statement okay and when i say loop uh, loop nothing but to something doing again and again okay i want uh, let me go here see uh, let me clear oh, we understood this part let me clear this uh, whatever i have So now let's see, I have uh, some piece of code we have written, okay? Some piece of my code number one, my code number, line number two, like this, I have written some piece of code here, okay? Now, as I said, my execution is going to start line by line. So like this, it means it should start. If there is no control flow statement, it will start. But uh, due to something I want, okay, let's uh, execute this, Five statement at least in 10 times. Okay, my execution will come like this. Okay, my instead of going straight like this, my execution will come till this. Okay, then I'll execute this statement for 10 times in a loop. Okay, 10 times you execute this statement again and again, then go out. Okay, so if you want that kind of thing, we can use my looping statements. Okay, I'll say, like, see, whenever you are. Uh, you are in home, okay? So you do all the activities one by one. Let's you prepare food, then you eat the food, then you may study something or you may go to bed. And sometimes when you are decorating the room, you need to uh, shift some books from one cell to another, another cell. That time what you do? So you cannot take all the books in a single cell. So maybe you have 50 number of books in one cell. So you will take five books, keep it. Again, you come, take five books, keep it. Like this, you are looping, you are looping in your life, right? Go, bring and take, same activity, you are doing again and again and again. Same thing, inside this, I may have five, four lines of code, which doing the same thing, and I can loop it 10 times or 50 times, depending on my business requirement. For anybody who wants that kind of thing, we can go for the loop. So normally, if you see execution flow, these four lines of code should execute only once if you go on the normal flow of execution. But now this four line of code, I can execute multiple times by my loop statements. And when I say loop statements, I have do while, I have while, and also I have for loop statements. So I am going to discuss this three, and also I can say one more equal for each loop. This for different looping statements. Okay, do while, while, for, for each. Any question till now? Are you all are fine? Yeah. Yes, perfect. perfect, perfect. Okay, now let's see. First we'll understand what is do while and what is while. We'll differentiate that two, then we'll go further. Okay, then we'll see what is for and for each and on what scenario, what we need to use. Okay, so now let's see, I'll give you one basic scenario okay there will define what is while and what is do while see both do the same activities but in different context uh let's i'll give you one small scenario we both are we, like you are going for a shopping okay so uh we get one uh one card to you okay or card maybe you can take the wallet or anything okay now I will tell before buying anything. Check if you have uh, you have uh, money in card or wallet. Okay, this is my scenario. Okay, let me write what should be happening on while or do do loop or do while or while. So see, I'm doing do while or while. Okay, before buying, okay, no, no, let me change the statement a little bit. So, first, stop it and then check if still you have money in wallet and buy it till the end, till the money over. I said this line. Okay. And one more scenario I'll say buy or you do, do the shopping 
if you have money in your card or wallet okay these two things i do let's consider I, in my in my wallet okay i have only uh, right now something like 500 usd for example okay i have only 500 usd now what happened you went for something and uh, that may cost around uh, 900 okay so something you're buying which cost 900 then if i see okay first shop it you buy it then check you have money again buy it okay so in what going to happen and one more scenario i say you before you buying see if you have money or not so now if i see some product is 900 something you're going to buy which is 900 usd and you have 500 usd can you buy it no correct because you don't have money on your wallet which will cost 900 but you have available balance of 500 so you cannot buy it okay so that means you first check how much available you have first you check the condition if condition satisfy then do it so so i can just more generically can i can i write it as if condition satisfy then do it this one so if you have money in your card so if i just break the statement if condition satisfy then do it okay and can i can i say this one first do it then check the condition the first part what do we have first do it then check my condition okay if still condition satisfy again do it this part okay so now whenever i am saying you have available balance of 500 usd but you want to buy something 900 and on this part if you check the condition your balance is less than 900 that means you cannot buy anything correct so if you go on this area in while loop you cannot buy any any anything am i correct Mayes, Manas. yes correct yes. okay so what i'm trying to say in while loop we will first check the condition then we will execute the statement if condition satisfy okay and in do while what you do we'll first execute it then we will check condition satisfied then do will continue again so now on this case what happened i have only 500 usd but if you see something i'm trying to buy which is 900 usd so first i'll buy it then i will check okay what our product i'm going to select next so for that do i have balance or not if you don't have then we cannot buy but first i can buy it so let's take you one more basic example okay let's see you have a fund of around 3000 usd on your wallet okay now what is going to happen with this 3000 usd whatever you have so now i am going to do uh, i select first 900 900 so first if i go with this for loop okay i have uh, one product uh, what i want to buy with 900 then i have with 1000 and then we have with the 300 then again i have with 1000 and uh, so you we have one with 1000 then some product also we have with 500 so now when i'm going to buy so see i have 3000 usd okay uh, i checked balance 3000 which is greater than first product i select is greater than 900 then what i did so i simply went and i bought this product first okay then now for how much happened so 3000 minus 900 can i say and now i have only 2100 okay so then again i check okay 2100 i have balance there is a product of 1000 okay i can buy it simply i go and pick it up so then how much i have now i have 1100 so after this buy i have 1100 so first i'm checking the condition then i'm buying whatever i want see then i see like okay i have only 1100 so when i say i have only 1100 then there is a product of 300 yes i can buy i'll go and simply i'll buy this also okay so now how much i have then i have 800 okay so now again i say there is some product 1000 but i have 800 then i cannot buy so first i'm checking the condition then i'm buying all those things in the while loop but when i'm buying in the sense i'm saying i'm doing some statement execution or i'm executing something so when i say do while if i have a product of 900 
I have something with 1000. Okay. Then something with 300. Okay. Then I have something called 1000. Okay. And 500. Okay. I have many things. See, uh, if I want to execute first, I will take it. Then I'll check the balance. That thing. So in the both the things, if you see this example of 500 USD, so in the while loop, my statement may not execute at all. Whenever I have 500 and I have product, of, so I have something with 900 USD, I cannot buy it. That means my statement is not going to execute at all. But when in the do while, I'm executing at least once, then I may not, not execute. So in do while saying, first time you execute your statement, then you check the condition. If condition matches, then we can loop it to execute again. While saying, you first check the condition, then check what statement to execute, and still, if it's satisfying your conditions, you can do it. For example, okay, let me show you one technical example here. With do while, I have defined something called integer count. Okay, let's see, I define a 10. So now I say do. So now if you see, let's I'm just going to print this statement. I'm just going to print my count here. Okay, then I'm increasing my count one count one one so it's nothing but when i say count plus plus which will be equivalent to count equal to count plus one this is nothing but my post incremental operator so count equal to count plus one if you want to write simply you can write count so i'm increasing 10 to 11 11 to 12 this time then then i am going to check while okay what condition i have here if till the time count less than 10 do it if this is my statement so if I execute this, my count is 10, okay? And my condition is count less than 10. Okay, let me write the syntax of do while first before going to here. It will be like many people will be confused with the do while statement and while statement. So now need to be confused, okay? So I'm just writing the syntax here. Then you see, I'll, till the time you are not clear, we will not skip to any topic. Then if do my statement execution first, Okay, then check the condition till the time my condition satisfying will execute my loop. This is my do while statement. And when I say while, in the while what I have, my while statement will be looks like this. Okay, so now while, see I got while first. Okay, then inside this, I'll write my condition check okay then inside this i will write the statement so that means this statement execute only when this condition in condition matches so how we are going to do it so now if you see if this is a do while statement so now my count is 10 okay and i'm going to print the statements and i'm increasing the count value it's 11 okay so now let's see i execute it what's the output coming let's see first i execute it so when I execute, if you go here, let's keep debug, it is showing 10 value ones, correct? See, it's showing 10. So now, if you see my condition count less than 10, 10 is not less than 10, my condition failed. But still, I have executed my loop once. Okay, so first we execute, then we'll check the statement till we continue. Okay, if the same statement, if we will write on while statements, we'll see what happening. So I'm just commenting this one. So let's see, I'm writing while, okay. Count less than 10. I'm just going to print the what is the count value, okay. And I'm just initializing the count. equal to 10 and also i'm inside this i'm increasing my count value one by one see if sorry if i wrote these things same kind of thing i'm doing i do the condition check first if my condition satisfied then i want to execute okay see i click execute see on this part nothing is going to come because my condition is failed already my count is not less than 10 see nothing nothing is gone so I didn't execute anything, no statement got executed. But first I check the statement, then I do it. 
but in this case what happened first i execute it then i check my condition to satisfy or not see if i if you will see how this looping happens let's see i kept my integer count is one i want to increase till my count is 10. so when i come first what i'll do here first i will print one i come here my execution starts from here my count value is one now then do it what i'll do i will print my statement here what what statement i'll print i'll print one because my count is one then i'll come i'll increase that means i had one value i'm adding one which is going to be two then i'll check okay in the while statement check two less than ten yes my two is less than ten again do the same thing i'll come here i'll print what is the i what is the count now count is two so the count value okay then i'll come increase my count value two plus one which is going to be three then i i'll check again okay three less than ten yes three less than ten again go again i print three here i'll come here i increase one which is going to be four like this my looping step looping continuing if i execute this do file now you will see this system dot debug statement or these two statements what i have it will execute multiple times and each time we'll get one debug statements to see if I execute it, let me execute. Let's see debug lines. See, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, everything we got. Nothing what can I say? Till the time my condition satisfied, I got it. Am I correct? Only the difference between do while and while is that do in while, first we check the condition, then we we'll start the execution in do while first we'll start the execution then we'll start the condition check okay so in the case of uh, count i took 10 in do while i got only one time my execution happens then my condition not matched then i didn't go inside the loop but in the while loop first way i check condition condition not satisfied i didn't come to inside okay so this way we write my looping statements in the do while so do while nothing but we can execute the same thing again and again okay uh, if the same program i will try to write in the while statement see if i do it one okay since so if i do it one i am just trying to execute only this much piece of code selected here and i have a button called execute highlighted that means which i have highlighted i will execute only that piece of code okay i just execute it now in the file statement you see same kind of uh, log will get okay that means i executed that statement which we have inside the while block or inside the do block multiple times nine times I executed okay so do let me know if you have any small questions on this or any big questions on this any clarity if you want uh, the basic man is here. Uh, so yes. like uh, uh, the difference between do while and while what I understand is like uh, if you want to uh, execute one condition at least once without checking the condition then we should use this do while right perfect well, okay yeah yes and uh, uh, I have another query is like uh, if we'll uh, uh, if we'll make this integer value to final uh, then uh, it, it will not uh, work right let's see as you said now we want we discuss what is my final part right let's yes. see if i try to use final here what is going to happen so there is a statement count plus plus this is a final variable if i try to execute what is happening here see yeah. okay. basically yes. final means cannot be modified again we okay. already initialized this correct right? done yes Thank perfect you. any question locus uh, russell yeah no emphasis no thank you so i hope everybody clear on this uh, while and do while so one line difference is that in do while first execute then check the condition in while first check the condition if satisfy then execute till the time while my condition satisfying will continue the execution that's the point in the do same it, and while my condition satisfying yes same way okay so same way we are going to see in the let me copy this for you okay i'll just put and i'll share with you all this uh, notes also 
okay very basic examples okay but uh, these basic examples we'll need in life always okay so now same way we have something called for loop okay and again i said i have two type of for loop okay what kind of for loop i have okay so this is one for loop so when i'm writing the for loop okay what you do the